What's up and what's going on guys? I'm Smog here from WebBoss and today I'll be doing something a little, little, little bit different. I'll be building the set interval function that ships with JavaScript. So why am I doing this? So I had an interview some weeks back where I was asked to build this particular function during the interview process. So I could not build it on the interview, but after the interview I was actually able to build and no, I did not get the job. But I just thought to share this because it touches a little bit about objects, prototypes, JavaScript algorithm, and a little bit of data structures, and all of that. And these are the kind of questions you meet in interviews. But before we get into the building, before we get into the flesh and everything, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and of course, drop your comments in the comment section. Let's get into it. Building this using JSB, the interviewer showed me this tool, and I just thought it's cool for prototyping things very quickly in the browser. So before we go ahead and build the setting table, let's see what it looks like, how the way it works. So basically you have the setting table function and it accepts a function. So in this case, let me just create an anonymous function that console.logs webboss. And what it does is it console logs this particular function or it runs this particular function at a given interval. Say for example, 1000 milliseconds, that's one second. So if I come over here and I open up the console, let me clear the output and I click on run, you can see that this is logging web boss to the screen after every one second. So I'll clear this up, then um, I'll clear this up, then I'll start building my own setting tower function. So I will create a function called setting tower. So I'll do function set interval and like i showed you it has set a function and it has set the interval which is in milliseconds then um so this function of course is going to be an object and in javascript there is no special way to create object so if i just do add this func equals func by the time i run this javascript javascript knows that this is supposed to be an object because it's only object that uses the this keyword so then i'll say this dot interval equals interval so according to the interview question i am not allowed to use the window dot set interval which is the set interval function that comes with javascript but that doesn't mean that i can't use any other javascript um, native functions and one of the functions that ships with javascript is set timeout so i can actually do set timeout i can do set timeout and run this dot func with set timeout and at this dot interval so if i come here and say uh, const uh, my new interval equals uh, new set interval into brackets let me do console so let me run another let me pass another anonymous function here and i do console.log web boss and i do slash 1000 right slash 1000 then i will click on run hopefully that works you can see web boss gets logged to the screen after one second but the problem is you want this to continue logging after every one second so here's what i can do i can simply come here and say this dot timer equals this guy right this dot timer equals this guy and i click on run the problem is it still runs after one second so what i need to do is this i need to create a function so the idea that i would use to solve this is recursion so i need to call a function that will continually cause itself such that set timeout is being called. So instead of implementing that function in here, I'll simply come over here and create a new function. Of course, that will be based on set interval. So I'll, and I'll be using the prototype method. So I'll simply do set interval dot prototype dot prototype dot start equals um, so equals function. So that uh, it knows it's a, it's a function. Then I will move this guy here. I'll move this guy here and say this guy 
this dot set timeout so instead of running this guy directly in here i'll simply come in here and do and i'll pass an anonymous function here and i'll do this uh this guy so this dot set timeout so i'm running this function i'm running set timeout and passing it into this dot timer right then i can now do this dot func so i can run this dot func within the anonymous function then run this dot start as well within this anonymous function so within set interval i can then come and say this dot start so the way it works is this this is the prototype so the prototype is based on the object itself and you can create more properties or methods on the prototype and the prototype has access to all properties or all properties and methods that are being created either default in the object in itself and because this guy this start function is also still a part of the object i can have access to it here so the other does not really matter so what that means now is this is if i now click run let's see what happens you can see web boss now gets called every time so essentially what i needed to do was to look for a way to call set timeout over and over again now, the setting tower works now the next thing is to be able to clear setting tower right so and to be able to clear setting tower all you have to do is simply do set interval dot prototype prototype dot clear equals function and i'll simply do clear timeout clear timeout clear timeout this is um this dot timer so i'm accessing this timer which stores the set timeout and i'm passing it in here so clear timeout so basically i can come in here now so let me clear this guy let me clear this guy so basically i can come in here and say uh my new interval my new interval dot clear so let's see what that gives us so clear then of course it's not going to run why because we are clearing this guy immediately so in order to test this, this out here's what we can do i can simply do set timeout and say my interval dot clear uh, this is the way i'm able to pass this in then i can say stop this after four seconds so let's see what this gives us run run and it's not working of course so to use the set timeout function you have to pass an anonymous function something like this so um, my new interval dot clear should work now so if i click on run so you see web bots web bots web bot then after the third run it clears that is after four seconds this guy stops working and that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful i hope you're able to learn one thing or two i hope to make more videos like this do let me know in the comment section if you like me to make more videos around javascript algorithms and data structure please don't forget to subscribe like and of course drop those comments in the comment section um, do enjoy the rest of your day catch you on the next one love ya